So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the RGB value of any color of anything on your screen so you can reproduce it quickly and easily. And just a quick reminder that I make videos like this all the time to help you with your photography and your videography. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So if you've ever had a situation where you need to reproduce a color uh, of something that you've been given, say you've been given a JPEG and there's a logo there and the client has asked you to use the same blue, but they don't know what blue exactly that is. Um, so the you can spend hours really trying to fiddle around with all the sliders to try and match that blue or red or green or whatever that color is. Or you can just pick up the RGB values shown on the screen and then use that to reproduce it very quickly and very, very easily. Now this is really, really easy to do. And if you're using a Mac, then you've already got all the tools uh, that you need. You don't need to download anything. If you've got a PC, um, I've got you sorted out as well, so just look uh, at the end of the video, I'll give you a link where you can get a tool that is equivalent to this, but if you are on a Mac, then you don't have to download anything, it's already part of the operating system. So let's go and take a look how we do that. Okay, so here I am on my Mac, and again, this is a Mac utility, uh, but if you do use a PC, there will be a link in the description to a tool that you can download and install, and it does exactly the same thing, and it is free. But if you are on a Mac, you don't have to do anything. It's already part of the operating system. So where do you find this, uh, this tool? It is in the Utilities folder under the Applications folder. Now, the uh, so we'll start off with it in the, in the Finder. And uh, the quickest way to get to the Utilities is, of course, Command-Shift-U. That navigates straight into that folder. But you can navigate uh, through Applications and then go to Utilities. And that's where you're going to find the Digital Color Meter. So when you double click on this, it's going to uh, it's going to launch this little window, and as you move around your your pointer, so your your mouse, you'll notice. I'll just um, I'll move this to the side so you can see it better. But you will notice that these numbers here, this where it says RGB, these are the RGB values of whatever my mouse happens to be hovering over the top of. Um, so this is the way to identify what, uh, a specific color. So if I wanted to find out what this particular blue was, it's telling me that it's 113-207-249. So that's the number that I would punch into something like Photoshop into the RGB values to reproduce that color. Um, now, if I wanted to uh, copy this into the into a clipboard because I want to I want to you know note down all the all the colors that I'm using. Um, normally to copy something it's uh, it's command C but because it's a color you have to do a shift command C so then when you go into somewhere like a text editor and you paste that it's going to paste the the value of the number so then that allows you to go into somewhere like Photoshop let's double click on the color switch here and if we this is where you find the RGB values uh, within Photoshop so as I punch in the numbers 113 tab 207 tab 249 that's better hit return or click OK and now if I go to uh, Photoshop and I do uh, pick a brush you will notice that it's this blue here matches exactly the same blue as you've got on the icons here so that is the easiest way to match a color on the screen um, and like I said it's part of the operating system so you don't have to do anything there are some options in here that you might want to play with the different values that you can um, that you can uh, extract the information from but I, I usually uh, just stick with display in sRGB so uh, where this is handy is if someone a client say gives you an icon or sorry a, a logo and you need to recreate that logo or do a new version of that logo or match um, you know, if you're doing a document and you need to match the colors to the logo, uh, but they don't know what the exact color is, this is one quick and easy way to 100% match that color using the RGB values. So that's it. Hopefully you found this useful. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and maybe share it with your friends if you think that they might be interested in this content. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.